What's up guys and girls, ZP with Styles of Life. For those of you guys that are returning to the channel, love you guys. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name's EP, and I love doing reviews on everything life. Click the like button down below, and click the subscribe button if you guys like listening and hearing me give reviews on life. So, the apartment tour. The reason why I haven't posted it yet is because my apartment hasn't been the cleanest or the most organized up to my standards or to my liking, but I've come to terms with the fact that it might never be that way, so, it is a little messy right now, but I figured, you know what, let's just post the video. In my previous vlog, I let you guys know that a celebrity used to live in this apartment right before me, a week before me moving in, they moved out. If you guys wanna check that video out, the link's gonna be up top. I'll let you guys know how much I pay for this apartment at the end of the video. As far as how I got this apartment, I went apartment shopping like no other. I went through Craigslist, I went through Street Easy, I went through Zillow, I went through real estate agents. I actually had an agent show me through a bunch of apartments and then I actually did it myself because I was like, if I could do all the stuff that the agent's doing. So I went door to door in all apartments in the area I wanted to live in, which was initially Financial District, which is in downtown Manhattan. And I came across this listing for this apartment on Zillow and I thought nothing of it until I showed up and the person that listed this apartment showed me the apartment and the building and I fell in love. And for the price, it was bang for buck as well because I had all the other apartments that I looked at already, which was about like 20 of them to compare to and I honestly feel blessed I got this one. So without further ado, let's check out the apartment, guys. Boom, to get to my apartment, you have to go through the elevator up to the sixth floor and you go into the door and boom you're automatically greeted by shiloh what's up buddy what's up buddy high five hey buddy hey buddy high five good boy and then you're greeted by mr the bunny what's up mr i don't think he knows how to high five he says hi and then here's the hallway to the studio apartment and the bathroom's on the left. We got co racks here, trying to make as much space as possible since we are in the studio apartment. The shower, got a dope shower head. Speakers up there. What up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> a sink, toilet, some storage space. And from here, we got the shoe racks over here. And then we got a little closet right here. Doesn't hold much, but we make use of it, you know? And there's a water heater over here. And then we got the iPod, the home, sy uh, the home system. So this is actually for the doorman. Every time we order food, the doorman, yes, we have a doorman. Every time we order food, he rings in and says someone's coming up. And then this now looks like the heater and stuff, but it actually turns on the speaker, which is built into the apartment. I think Joji built it in when he lived here. Cause I don't think a lot of the apartments actually have that. Excuse the mess, we have the rug that used to be over here, but Mr. kept, you know, partying on it. And here's the kitchen, guys. We got a mirror right there. We got this fence that we usually block out the hallway for Mr. to be over there, so it doesn't party everywhere. We got this extra futon couch, and as you can tell, there's a lot of blankets over there because that family's staying with us, so I had to order the futon. Originally, we just had that couch and that table, and then we got the projector right here. This whole wall turns into a TV screen movie. Somebody that over here. We got a portable, or we got like a dividing closet right here. So then it makes it feel more homey. We got my little office space right here. That's where I do a lot of my coding, my editing. And then we got the balcony, guys. The floor ceiling windows. Check out the view. As you guys can see, that's downtown Manhattan. We're literally right across the bridge in Brooklyn. Um, yeah, it's a little like, it takes me like less than 20 minutes to get in there. Um, if I take the boost up board, I just cross the bridge, which I live right next to. And it takes me like not even 10 minutes to get into the city, Lower East Side to be exact. And you guys look right over there, we got Peter Luger. I live right next to Peter Luger, most famous. Steakhouse in New York. And over there's more 
Brooklyn. And then here's the apartment from the balcony. Excuse the mess on the closet. What's up, buddy? Well, that was my apartment, guys. Um, sorry for the delay on the video. As far as how much I pay for the apartment, I pay $2,500 a month in rent, which is a lot to most, but it's actually a steal in New York because in comparison to all the ones that I looked at in Manhattan, specifically downtown, uh, which I was looking at in the time because I worked downtown, or I worked downtown, which I'll get into in a minute. Um, I was looking for apartments there, and honestly, all those were more than 3,000 each for like three quarters of the size, if not smaller. No balcony and no windows, basically. If I wanted a window, it would have cost a couple hundred dollars more a month, which is insane. So when I saw this, got the balcony, four scene windows, and the beautiful rooftop, and gym included as well, downstairs, and a doorman. I couldn't resist and couldn't pass up, um, which I'm thankful for because I ended up quitting my job, guys. Oh man, I quit my job and honestly, living here really is crazy for me because if you guys haven't seen the video of me making the transition from Oregon to New York, you know, buying a one-way ticket with no job, no, no place to live, and just taking the leap of faith and really believing in myself, I couldn't believe that I'm here today and honestly, I'm really grateful and it excites, it really excites me to keep grinding and getting to the next level and seeing what's next for me and what's in store for me as well especially with uh what i get to uh enjoy in life you know um it's just crazy to me because i had no job no apartment and I, first things first was finding an apartment i found an apartment as you guys know and it wasn't the best but it wasn't bad i paid a thousand dollars a month for apartment that was literally or i shared with three of the roommates and the living area that I had was huge, basically, um, you know, one bedroom, and it was literally like two stops further down, so another like 10, 10, 15 minutes away from Manhattan, so I got like closer. But now I get my own studio with all these amenities and gorgeous views, and if you guys know me, I love my views because I truly believe that my environment is in direct translation to my output. So these views is very, very, very motivating for me to, you know, put in the work that I need to do every single day, day in, day out. And um, I couldn't be more blessed about that. And as far as my job and quitting my job, I got some news for you guys. I did quit my job and I'm making a huge transition. It's probably just as big, if not bigger than the transition I made of just moving to New York. And I think it's huge and I will talk about it in my next video. So you guys are gonna have to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications and wait for that next video to pop up and let you guys know what I'm doing next and what this huge transition is going to be and how the fuck am I gonna live in this apartment paying $2,500 a month while having no job. If you guys like my video today guys, please click like, click subscribe, comment down below. Until next time.